hey girl welcome back to another vlog so it is friday evening it's kind of late in the evening it's about 4 30 i just got off work as you can see i have like my scrubs and everything on let me turn on this air because it is really really hot Whew. so i just got off work i'm in the parking lot of my hospital right now and i am headed to well first i gotta go all the way on the other side of town where i live um because i work in hampton but i live in chesapeake so i'm going all the way but we're gonna hit traffic and we're gonna go all the way back to our side of town but i'm going to alkalicious juice bar where i get the juice shot shot because they're not open early anymore they open at like 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning and i really want to get up early and work out saturday saturday and sundays are like my workout days because i feel like during the week i'm not able to work out because i just have too much going on i feel like with um working my nine to five job and like my husband my daughter my business i feel like during the week i don't have time so my weekends are the days that i work out and since the juice bar isn't open anymore at like it used to be open at like 6 a.m now it's at 10 it's kind of a little late for me so i'm gonna pick up some juice shots i'm gonna pick up probably like two gingers some wheatgrass because i haven't tried the wheatgrass ones yet because they're always out of the wheatgrass but now they have it so i'm gonna try some of the wheatgrass so that way i can have it for in the morning you know so i don't have to um wait to work out i can just take a shot and do my workout so that's been kind of like my routine the weekend and this weekend i'm gonna try to film a video because your girl is getting pr now okay like girl can you believe that i'm literally getting pr now if you guys follow my instagram um at janina filipina i always post like things in my stories like if i don't post a actual post i'm definitely posting a story because i love stories i love like reels i love stories i love videos period i think that's why i love youtube not so much as pictures so i post a lot of um igtvs and like a lot of stories so if you if you follow my instagram you will see all the pr that i've been getting i'm like girl i've been getting some pr okay so i'm gonna do i have one video that i need to film that i'm really really excited about i can't tell you guys but i will your you guys will see on my beauty channel what it is or my vlog channel whichever one i posted on just make sure you're subscribed to both and you have notifications on for both so you can see what i'm up to so i'm getting pr now also girl i have girl i have a lot to tell y'all because things are changing so not only is my channel growing and i'm getting pr but my stepson my husband's um son might come live with us we might be picking him up on monday and not too sure we're still trying to coordinate with his mom but um he might come live with us and i don't know how i feel about that like because the ex like i feel like she hates me she won't say it outright but some of the the connotations towards me are really negative and i feel like she kind of feels those negative thoughts like to her son as well because he doesn't really come over often to visit my husband because my husband's you guys know he's in the military and his job he's always gone like he's only here maybe like five months out of the year um except for this year he'll be here a little bit more longer so um anyway i don't know her situation so i don't know why all of a sudden she decided to spring this upon my husband which is fine because that's his son you know he needs to i feel like boys should live with their fathers and girls should live with their mothers because you know men teach other men how to be go girl how to be men and women can teach little women how to be women right so it's not a problem to me that he's coming but just the fact that certain things are being said like so my husband he came to me and he said well because we've been we've been planning this for about a week right maybe about a week because all of a sudden she just said oh he needs to come stay with you guys okay fine he's nine years old very sweet boy a little sassy but i mean okay but um so 
my husband talked to me the other night and he's like I want you to come with me to pick them up because they're in New Jersey which is about six hours from us so normally when we pick him up we'll either go all the way there or we'll meet them halfway which is like Maryland or Delaware or something like that um, but he wanted me to go which I normally go sometimes but the last two times I haven't been because I've just been busy but he wants me to go because he said she wants me him and her to have a sit down and as soon as I heard that I was just like <sighs> like my eyes rolled to the back of my head so hard girl because like every time that happens she has something to complain about so last year when he came to visit before my husband got deployed um it was like during thanksgiving time and i made like soul food like if you guys watch my vlogs you guys know that i cook all kinds of different food like fancy food soul food just whatever i'm, I'm a cook i love to cook that's what i do i cook so um i made like soul food it was like um i think I think it was smothered chicken, it was collard greens, cornbread, sweet potatoes, you know, things like that. And he didn't want to eat any. He was like that he didn't eat this type of food because culturally they are Haitian. So they eat like, I guess Haitian food, I don't know. I'm not from Haiti or anything, but that's kind of their culture. And she lives with her parents and so they eat that type of food. So he didn't like the food that I cooked. He said he didn't eat any vegetables and cornbread. He didn't eat cornbread. So instead of talk to us about this he called his mother on the phone because he does have a cell phone he called his mother on the phone and she just got so upset and she was making it seem like we were trying to starve him or something and my husband said well you know this is what she cooked and she was like well he doesn't eat that and my husband's like well we we wouldn't know that because it's true we wouldn't know that um because like i said he doesn't come over as often as he should but it was just a big thing about what i cook girl and it, it was just a lot so she complained about that and she just complained about other things too like when she told us that he was coming i immediately started looking for a school for him to go to and i found there was like an elementary school right behind our house and they said yes that he would be going to the school because you know you have to go to the school and make sure it's within the district or, or whatever so i did that i like planned on enrolling him and all that stuff and then she complained about the school when we presented her with the school that he'd be going to and so the problem with that is right now he goes to a catholic a private catholic school <laughs> and she wants him to go to a private catholic school which i understand because maybe it's a better school i don't know she's in some type of program to where she doesn't have to pay for it it's completely free for her and he goes so she didn't like the fact that he was going to public school. So my husband asked me if I can look for some private schools or some private Catholic schools. Girl, like this is not California. This is what I think she doesn't understand either. This isn't California. This isn't New Jersey. This isn't New York. Like this is, this is like little old Virginia. Okay, we're stationed in Virginia right now. This town doesn't have things like that. Okay, so anyway, I, I respect my husband's wishes. So I did what he said I did look for some catholic schools i only found two and they're like 30 to 40 miles away from the house so number one that's going to be a problem when we have to take him and pick him up for school because there's no buses that go to these private schools you would have to pay for some type of transportation so we can't do that um my husband has to be at work early in the morning i have to be at work early in the morning my daughter has to be at school early in the morning so nobody can take him or pick him up because i don't get off until 4 30. my husband doesn't get off until around four my daughter can be there but you know it just my daughter doesn't drive she's 15 years old she doesn't drive yet so how would she go and pick him up so it was just like also the private catholic schools here they cost money and she's getting it for free but we're not so i looked into it we did a few interviews they charged us 150 just for application just to find out that it's at least twenty-one thousand dollars a year to go to this school okay or these two schools that i found and that's just not we're just not able to sustain that we can't afford an extra 300 400 payment for something that's like a whole car payment right so my husband had to tell her like listen the public school is going to be just fine so there was a problem with that i don't know if you guys can see me because i'm in a tunnel right now so it might be a little dark 
because this camera is not good with like low lighting sorry you guys my camera totally overheated because it is super duper hot out here and the sun is like beaming directly onto my camera i have you sitting on my um my rubber mat thing that helps it from sliding because i cannot find a way to like mount my camera on my dash because my jeep wrangler everything is like flat because it's like box you know so there's no way to like clip my camera here or anything so anyway basically what i was just saying because i don't remember the whole story because i just kept rambling i didn't even know that my camera cut off basically girl i just i'm debating if i want to go monday on the road trip to pick him up and have this sit down i'm kind of just like like i said i kind of just want to leave it be and i kind of just wish she could like help us help her girl like help us help you <laughs> you know that saying help us help you like if you need him to come here fine but this is how we run our house here i feel like you can't control everything here like i get it because it's her son it's her baby like i have a daughter so i get it but i'm not gonna send my daughter to her father's house in california and be like oh you know here take her but oh she can't go to this school she can't eat this she can't do that i don't want her to do this no it's kind of like if you want him to be here girl let him come here you know like if not just let him stay just let him stay there if you don't like anything that's going to be going on here with him let us stay i just wish she would trust my husband and and raising him you know or at least or i don't know maybe she does trust him maybe she just doesn't trust me i don't know girl so stepmom chronicles girl I, I should do a i should do a freaking playlist about that because it's it's just it's crazy to me um the drama that sometimes we go through in the back and forth and we me and my husband have been married four years and i swear to you i i haven't even really spoken to the ex like we don't really even know each other like that like we see each other um you know when they exchange handing the kid off but other than that like we've never had a falling out or like like you know we're not friends so it's kind of like we don't even know each other so it's kind of just like why do you have this animosity towards me all the time i just feel like you know and then my husband he doesn't really support my opinion i feel like he's so afraid to get into it with her or say no to her or that side of the family and then he gets on me like every time like let me tell y'all that one time i told y'all about the dinner thing well after that while he was convincing us that he can only eat mcdonald's and stuff um one day that week he was eating some chips and he just kept eating these he, he had this big bag of chips and he was just eating his chips all day and so later towards the day i checked with my husband i said hey i'm about to cook dinner like so what do i need to cook because i know last time there was an issue and so my husband's like okay well i'm gonna let me see so he talks to my stepson he goes hey you know stop eating those chips because we're about to eat like what do you want to eat and he goes depends on what you make and i was like like i didn't say anything but i was looking at my husband like did, like and i went did you did you did you hear what he did you hear what he said and then he was like oh my god you're just bringing attention to the most negative things and i was like no did, did you hear what he just said and he was like it doesn't matter like like pretending like he just didn't sass him and say depends on what you made i'm gonna you know what i'm saying like do you get what i'm saying it's like he pretends like this stuff doesn't happen and i'm just the negative difficult to deal with person right it's it's my fault not everybody else's or i'm the bad guy if you guys follow me on instagram you know i'm i'm um known as the bad guy on instagram because that's how i feel sometimes and i found this quote y'all if y'all saw my story y'all saw it but it was this quote that like kind of summed up the situation i'm kind of feeling right now and it basically said people deem you hard to work with or difficult when you're not easily fooled 
girl i swear because i feel like my stepson be trying to fool them and and he might fool them but he don't fool me like come on i i get it you eat cultural stuff but you know about mcdonald's you know about pizza totino rolls girl you know about fries and corn dogs stop playing with me you eat vegetables it's probably just vegetables in whatever you guys eat but you eat vegetables you eat cornbread or some type of bread like I, a girl it's just a lot it's just a lot and i be feeling like he does that like he tries to like make it seem like he's just i don't know i don't know but i'm a grown woman i'm not gonna argue with another grown woman about my house you know i'm just not like it's me and my husband's house so it's my house and i'm definitely not gonna argue with a nine-year-old okay I'm not gonna argue with a nine-year-old because eventually my husband is going to leave because his job is he's always deployed so it's just gonna be me and the kids and the dogs so you know eventually that's gonna happen so it's like I need mutual respect you know and i need them to like realize that this is this is my house as well i'm not gonna argue with her i'm not gonna argue with the nine-year-old about food and about who's walking to school and the school that they go into like i'm not gonna do that because like i said when my husband leaves it's just me two kids and three dogs now girl that's another thing i have to tell y'all about i actually have a vlog that vlog will probably come out before this vlog i'm not sure but girl, that dog that my husband wanted to rescue so bad, he brought it home. So now we have three dogs. Well, it's kind of like we have two and a half dogs because my little, my teacup poodle Dior, she barely comes out. She stays in my daughter's room under the bed or in the closet. All she does is sleep because she's nine years old. She's a senior dog. She doesn't really like to be seen or out. She doesn't really play. She just kind of, you know, sleeps and stuff. So she doesn't really come out unless she has to use the bathroom or something. Or she wants to be cuddled for a little bit. So it is kind of like we have two dogs. But still, we didn't need another dog, girl. But but my husband told me a story and I felt kind of bad for the dog. So I didn't agree, but I didn't disagree either. But I, did, I damn sure didn't agree. Okay. So... You guys will see that in the next vlog but i just feel like like i said eventually it's just gonna be me the kids and the dogs so i'm not gonna stress out about things that are like gonna make it easier for me you know what i mean and i just feel like like i said if she wants him to come let him come if he if you're not just leave him there <laughs> just leave him there okay so that's pretty much like sums up what's going on with me right now and like kind of updating my life so that's kind of how I'm feeling regarding like going there I'm kind of just like look I'm not about to argue with none of y'all I don't have time like I'm really trying to like improve my business my channel I've been getting ready for the fall season um with my brand Cali Mentality I've been doing a lot of stuff and I just don't have time for like the shenanigans you know i'm excited that he's coming though because now i feel like we have an actual family even though we had our own little family with just my daughter i feel like when me and my husband got married my husband always said that he felt like it was kind of the perfect little arrangement for us because he has a son and i have a daughter so we kind of have the perfect family you know two adults and each sex of kid you know so that was kind of our thing because we never had kids together so that was kind of our little thing and i'm excited that he's coming and i hope and i hope and pray that you know he likes it and things go smooth because like i said at one point in time it's gonna be just me i'm gonna be the only adult and that might be sooner than later because my husband has to go to some type of training some type of flight school in october for 45 days october or november so i'll get my first taste then of how it is with two kids girl okay because i only have one i only have one child that i actually um birthed i'm not used to having two kids especially a little kid because he's nine years old my daughter's 15 i haven't taken care of a little kid in a long time 
in a long time okay so this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be something because i'm used to like you know letting my daughter do her thing she wants to go outside she goes outside she hangs out with her friends she uh, takes the bus to school she's very independent versus a nine-year-old where you have to make the breakfast and make sure they take a shower and make sure they're doing their work you know you know what i'm saying girl we gonna see i mean guys it is put you guys down there it's about five o'clock in the morning i'm about to go to the gym and um right now i'm about to take my ginger shot though and then make my um water <clears throat> for the gym i got some old water in here so i'm gonna take it out remake it and we'll get ready to go Ooh. man that raw ginger it's so spicy but it's like so good for you you know maybe i'll get used to like shooting it <sighs> the more frequently i take it because whoo such a good workout today like I stayed for two hours I did my cardio I did my arms I didn't get to do my abs today well I guess kind of when I did like the little the wood chop thing I guess kind of so anyway I'm about to go home and get ready I guess I'll throw on a little makeup because I wanted to try um this cute like little fruit acai bowl place in Virginia Beach to have breakfast so I'm gonna go home take a shower real quick do something with this hair. Wake up Sunny. Hopefully she's up because I know she probably wants to go. And we'll head down and we'll have a little breakfast. Because it is such a good day outside. Like, it's just beautiful. The sun is out. It's not raining. I want to take the doors off of my Jeep. But, like, I'm scared to go on the freeway <laughs> with the doors off. Like, because I'm going to have to take the freeway. And then I'm not sure if it's just going to rain later on because it seems like i don't know it seems like virginia weather is so unpredictable like the it could be a nice sunny day and then all of a sudden it starts raining so i think i'll skip on taking my doors off i think i'll skip on that maybe i'll do that tomorrow outfit of the day
instead of a freaking acai fruit bowl that I was supposed to get, I got a poke bowl. So, because I was hungry, girl, after working out. Are you serious, girl? I was hungry. Hey guys, so we just came back from Target. We decided to do a quick pit stop at Target. And I didn't vlog it because I feel like I always vlog Target. But right now I'm about to hit up um, Alkalish's juice bar. Um, the juice bar where I get the shots from. Because I want a big 8 ounce of the wheatgrass. The raw wheatgrass juice. Just so I can have my own shots at home. So they told me to call ahead. Um, to see if they have it because sometimes like I guess the wheatgrass is scarce for them So I'm gonna call and see if they have it So I can just order it and pick it up Thank you for calling off delicious. How may I help you? Hi, yes I was told to call ahead to see if you guys had re wheatgrass if I wanted an 8 ounce wheatgrass shot yeah, um, you want an 8-ounce bottle or you just want, um, one ounce of shot wise? The 8-ounce. The 8-ounce, eight eight yeah, hold on, let me check for you. Okay. Um, because I know we have it, but I don't think we have quite 8 ounces of it. Okay. Actually, yeah, so if you did want the 8-ounce bottle, um, you have to pay over the phone because that's, like, all we have. Does that make sense? Oh, I have to pay with my credit card? Yeah, 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 because you pay over the phone. Just to guarantee that, you know, it locked in and it's yours. Oh, okay, because I'm, I'm literally, like, across the street. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'll see you when you get here then. I'll put it to the side. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Okay, bye. All right, bye-bye. Oh, girl, what? Okay. So, anyway. I'm about to head over there and get my little eight ounce of raw wheatgrass and then I think we're gonna try to head to the farmers market before it closes. What time is it? 101. Yeah, so it closes at four. I really wanna try to um see the Virginia Beach Farmers Market, so I'll let go. try like my pumpkin I'm gonna try like my pumpkin bar Let me see. 
I'll set you guys up here. Hopefully my camera doesn't die. So I've had it on like all day. I'm gonna stop and have us some soda because it is so hot out here. My makeup is literally melting off my face. Three for a dollar. I'm gonna get lemon. You want one? Or you want some? Okay. Pink lemonade. What? Let me see. I want to get wildflower, I know, clover, wildflower, pina colada, bitch. morning beautiful people it's a little early in the morning it's about eight o'clock i was supposed to go to the gym today but what happened was my husband's allergies are out of control so he woke up this morning he has really really bad allergies kind of borderline asthma a little bit um he woke up this morning he was really really congested and he was wheezing a little bit and um probably because he didn't listen to me normally when his allergies start he needs to take Afrin for the three days, then consistently his Zyrtec or Allegra D and then like Benadryl at night. And of course he didn't, right? So now it's getting worse and suffering. Turned into a sinus infection last week. So he's been taking the antibiotics for that. Now it just seems to be dripping down his throat because you guys know I'm a nurse, right? So when you look in somebody's mouth and you know the doctor has the light and they make you say eh like that um the post nasal drip can cause a cobblestone pattern in your throat your throat <laughs> if it's continuously dripping down the nasal the post nasal drip so that's what's happening right now so he woke up coughing and just sneezing and not feeling so good so instead of going to the gym i am now going to cbs to get him some mucinex and possibly a neti pot or one of the what do they call the uh, nasal cleansing systems so he can kind of do that as well and hopefully he'll be compliant and that way it'll go away so he can feel better because we have to get on the road here um, tomorrow to go pick up my stepson so instead of the gym I guess I'll just go ahead and walk the dogs when I get home and pump him full of his meds okay make some breakfast and then I'll walk the dogs and that'll be kind of like my physical activity because it's cutting into my physical activity <laughs> so anyway I'm headed to CVS right now to do that and then I'm gonna head to Kroger because 
I low-key want to make a pulled pork quesadilla like girl I had a pulled pork quesadilla yesterday at the movies so I went to go see Candyman girl I'm gonna tell y'all the movie was okay it was okay it wasn't like I don't know maybe because I'm used to the original I'm used to the original 1992 version so to me they just kind of like messed up the storyline a little bit so instead this was kind of like an origins video and they switched up the origin a little bit like so i don't know if you like me you you're familiar with the original 1992 one but the origin starts out as i think his name was daniel Rotole or something like that he um i think he was a slave it was like in the 1820s and he was like painting pictures for white people or something fell in love with a white girl and she got pregnant and so they lynched him and you know cut his hand off put the bees on him you know you know the story right so they kind of switched up the origins now they're trying to say that candy man so it wasn't the original man it was a different person and now they're saying that candy man is a different person kind of like every year or every century so the origin lives on but like with different people so i didn't like that and then also like they said you have to say candy man five times in the mirror uh when i was growing up girl it was only three times because me and my cousins did it all the time girl like me and my cousins my grandmother basically raised all of us you know my grandmother was that grandmother where everybody like everybody's kids went to my grandmother so like girl we used to sneak inside of the um bathroom me and my cousins and we would literally do that we would do the candy man in the mirror and you would say it three times not five times so they switched that up there were two original cast members so if you're familiar with the original version do you remember the black lady that uh her baby got taken in the original movie so she um, was the mom of the new candy man in this movie and then the original candy man i forgot his name the original one with the deep voice who's like tell everyone <laughs> he was in there too he he but he had a the last like he he literally showed his face at the last moment of the movie so i thought that was cool they brought back you know the original cast or whatever some of them but other than that girl that movie was like i don't know it just wasn't it wasn't as scary as i thought it was the graphics weren't as scary as i thought it would be um the only scary part to me about the new candy man was that he they made his skin because remember the original candy man he had like the bee sting so his skin was weird they made the skin look really really graphic and also um the way he was like floating around getting people like the original candy man kind of just walked around this one would like float and his toes were like pointed up and but not touching the ground and he's kind of like floating like that was scary to me that was kind of scary any any like thing that's floating around is is kind of scary to me so i thought that was scary but other than that girl like i feel like they could have did a much better job at the movie but yeah so i had a pulled pork quesadilla there um at the movie because we went to cinema cafe where you can like have food and drinks and i really liked it so i might bite off that recipe it had like bell peppers onions pulled pork the whole quesadilla thing and then i'll probably make side of guacamole side of sour cream a little beside of salsa and that's what i'll do um tonight my daughter doesn't like cheese so i have to figure out something else for her to eat she don't like cheese but she like pizza so maybe i'll just find her something real quick that she can warm up um at kroger because you know she's not gonna want the quesadilla so yeah that's what i'm doing right now and then um after i do all of that and come home i'll um i'll start cleaning out my stepson's room because he does have his own room in our house that no one ever goes in it's, we just kind of like put storage in there so i'm gonna clean it up and get ready for him to come so i'll show you guys i'll probably like time lapse it and i'll show you guys like a little bit of me getting it organized and clean we bought some really cute batman sheets for him and stuff like that so um we'll get that together as well today so little change of plans but we still got some things to do you guys i'm about to go clean this room my stepson's room let me show you guys i got all of my supplies 
trash bags, put the trash, my bounce refreshener girl. This is like wrinkle release, but it's also, um, it eliminates odors and stuff and like makes everything fresh. So I like to spray the covers and stuff with this. I feel like it lasts longer than the Febreze stuff. And I got my drink. Okay. So this is the Ciroc Summer Lime. I think it's called Summer Lime or no, Summer Citrus. So this is Ciroc Summer Citrus with some watermelon, Simply Lemonade watermelon juice with my frozen fruit. Cause you know, we gotta have a drink. <laughs> with this process okay so let me show you guys the room before i start <laughs> look at this mess so his room has turned because he like he's never here so his room has turned into like pretty much storage and like just putting random things so it has like vacuum pieces here is our carpet cleaner um or our carpet shampooer and then that's another piece of that that's a medical bag that's um the vacuum I mean just like you know random things that we have stored in here the uh, dresser is all messed up so we got a lot to do okay even probably under the bed and then I see some like little hairs on the floor I'm guessing that's from Shiloh because they're like black hairs because he just recently got a haircut so some of his little knotty hairs are coming out so he must have been in here girl let's take a look at the closet yep so I have, oh, I have two backgrounds in here for my studio. It has a little jackets, little toys, so we'll probably organize that. Because, yeah, that needs to be organized. And um, just whatever this junk is. So, yeah, let's get to it.
change my clothes as you can see because I did walk the dogs and it was really really hot so I took a shower and everything so now I'm in the kitchen and I'm about to start cooking so let's prep all of our vegetables and let's cook. Mm -hmm. 